Spring Street downtown, there's a unique hospital. Their patients are pens of every kind, and here they both service and sell. In 1946, my father and my grandfather started the business, and we moved here, and the store is totally uh, all, all writing instruments. From, we sell from all over the world. Harry Wiederlight's family has been in the pen business for over 70 years. What started as a repair shop in the 40s turned into an office supply shop in the 60s and 70s and is now one of the only stores still selling fine writing instruments in New York City, landing a spot in the book, 111 Shops in New York, that you must not miss. In today's world, you have to be different. You have to be unique. You have to be out of the box. You have to think outside of the box. And that's why we've stayed around for 72 years now. We carry roughly 40 brands. Wow. 40 brands of pens from all over the world. And we get from people from all over the world coming here. Including some faces you might recognize. My father used to tell me Count Basie came into the store. And oh, yeah, Duke Ellington. But now uh, recently, uh, Alicia Keys has been here recently. And Neil deGrasse always stops in. Always stops in. And um, Jerry Bruckheim has been here years ago. And we get a lot of stuff. Schwarzenegger has been here. You can buy a basic fountain pen here for $10. A Star Wars collectible will run about 450. Some of the intricately detailed Japanese fountain pens in the thousands. The most popular brand, German based Mont Blanc. They're definitely the number one luxury brand in America today, all over the world today. If you're looking for a unique writing instrument, Terry's collection can't be beat. This is made by Montegrappa, Italy. And this is a copper pen, and you get with it, the, it's called a copper mule, and you get the mule cup with it also. Terry, tell me about these pens, because Game of Thrones is all the rage. Oh, uh, this has been red hot. This is also made by Montegrappa, and this collection, Game of Thrones, has been unbelievably successful. This pen came out about 20 years ago. Right now, we don't have any left. It's just Peter Display. This is Abraham Lincoln, limited edition, and the top of the cap is, believe it or not, his DNA. When the guy who made this pen... Right told you it was a pen with... I said, what are you, out of your mind? The most expensive pen in the house, the Crone Moulin Rouge. Just a limited edition of 18 pens. There's all diamonds and rubies all around the band and the uh, section right over here. How and much does this one go for? And immediately $17,500. There's still a market for $17,000 fountain pens, even though Americans are writing less and less. Believe it or not, more fountain pens and ballpoint journals put together. And they have to teach the kids how to write today. It's all texting and things. It's so nice to get a handwritten letter to you, an invitation, anything handwritten. Is, it means something very, very special. And Terry says he'll keep selling as long as the customers keep on coming. Uh, I never want to retire. Never. They have to catch me on the floor with ink in my mouth before I retire. No matter how horrible your handwriting may be, you'll find something here to make you feel a little more elegant. At the Fountain Pen Hospital, Ethelson Morris, Fox 5 News.